Hello people, this is Mondo, I'm back here with another M07 production, and today I am here with you with another Songs of Aria. And again, if I am pronouncing that wrong, I'm room. This is still session one, so tell me in the first, second, or even this video if then I'm pronouncing it wrong, and I'll correct it if I ever do. If I do two different sessions, otherwise it'll be like the whole, the whole entire series pronounced wrong. God, my Bible turned and it turned to my mouse pad and it turned to my mouse and disoriented to me. Okay. So let's get back to it. Last time we left off, we were going to make breakfast. So let's see what's for breakfast. I'm starved. Actually, I'm thirsty. Should have checked to see if there's anyone still in the living room or if they were asleep. Should have. Well, wait, we marched down a few. Wait, we marched down a few sets of stairs and walked into the kitchen. Like the rest of her house, it's quite big. Um, a chef could die happy in a place like this. I could too. Probably. I'm sure I could actually. Okay. There are plenty of pots and pans and other kitchery things around. You could make anything you you want in this kitchen. However, it looks like the room is short of ingredient on ingredients. I don't see any food at all. There's a big there's a there's a oh, a spice rack in the corner, but I don't think that really counts. So, what's for breakfast? Um, you get toast. Toast woman, that's all you get is toast. I mean, there's a toaster right there in the corner right there. Uh, I'm, I'm pointing at the screen, I know you can't see it though, but either way. Anything you can make? Cool, cool. So, anything I can make. Yep, anything you can make. So, you're getting toast. <laughs> Probably cheese toast. That toast is that that stuff is good. <laughs> I can't make anything. Well, that sucks. What a failure as a servant. Just exactly why I am your servant again. Oh yeah. Sorry, I was I was thinking that was Melissa talking. Huh? So because we had a deal, remember? Ah, but you said you weren't a vampire, which means I'm not either. Meaning I'm not immortal, and you're not living up to your to your end of the deal. That evil smile she wears so often, like a favorite shirt, tells me that I'm mistaken. Oh no, I'm I always keep my word. You are indeed immortal, and you're also my servant until the end of of eternity. When did this happen? Well, while I was asleep. It happened before that. You were there, weren't you? You mean you when you bit me? Yep. How is that possible? You have no clue what. You have no clue just who you asked to have your wish granted, do you? Can you just explain it to me? Sorry, I got rotate my neck some. It hurts. So just have it sit there for straight for a while, it's, it stiffens up. Just think about it, the greatest enemy of the church alive today, a heretic powerful enough to topple to topple the re reformist government and restore sanctity to back to this county. Country, sorry. Why why would they let someone like me live? Why not just knock down my front door and hang me. Surely a trained soldier of the church could take on a helpless little girl. You don't look very little. You kind of look a little older than that. I've got itches now. I always have problems. Has anyone else noticed this? Because I have. It's like I'm not, I'm just not professional. I'm so far from, from professional, it's not even funny. They can't make their own own move because I believe in the in a real in a real religion, not some political tool created by a power hungry fool with a god complex. That religion gives me power, a power stronger than that of the reinforced swords, swords and ex extremist laws. Ex extremist. I don't even know what that is. And. In important little brats. Important and 
I feel like I know what it means, but I can't still. No, no, no. I hate words. Words are evil, don't you know? Okay, I'll skip the re I'll skip the speech and give you the short version. Simply put, it I am a magician. Okay, you so you can so you know a few card tricks. Not that kind of magician. I'm no two-bit illusionist. Sleight of sleight of hand cannot create mi miracles. Although I guess that's not really your fault. Probably the church disregards the sanctity of the sword of the wood. So, so then all that's from earlier that was magic. There is magic at some time. No. Yep, cool, isn't it? Why do you flash from? Seriously, why do you flash? I see the screen flashing. I think you stopped recording and other things. And why do you flash? I'm going crazy. <clears throat> I tried to laugh and I swallowed at the same time that hurt. Yeah, but was all that really necessary? Freezing someone's lifeline is a very in involved process, requiring quite a few steps and conditions. Although maybe I should have warned you that you were going to pass out. Freezing someone's lifeline. I like this music already. I actually really love the music from this from this game, so. All of magic that that governs life that one is closest one is the closest possible to immortality. True immortality isn't possible, even even with the power of magic. In, instead, I took a shortcut and passed uh, and paused your life. You will no longer age. You thus won't die. There are a, there are a few side side effects that pause my life. Side effects? Am I? Am I in? Am I in any danger? I already told you, you won't die. However, and surely everything about your body is also frozen with your life. You're still a boy, but you won't grow anymore. Your hair and nails won't grow either unless you try to cut them. Okay, they'll automatically return to the length they are now, and will stay that length forever. Okay, this actually sounds interesting. I can cut my nails. You have this done, and then I'll never have to cut my nails again. Solution solved. Love it. The writer of this, you're a genius. You are just a genius on this. Your sense won't won't dull with time either, but today won't get any better. That's why I must wear glasses. Hmm? So I'm assuming you wore glasses whenever you became immortal, okay? So I must wear glasses, even though my magic could correct my vision. So you cast the magic on yourself too. Naturally, I don't don't look look it, but I I'm actually 187 years old. How would you even keep up with that? Uh, uh, are you seriously? And that was that was actually a mention. Um, that was actually meant to be stuttered like it was. Yes, I'm serious. Wow, that's old. What was that? I, I mean, I said, uh, I'm cold. If you're cold, I could start a fire at your feet. No thanks. I thought so. Ah. Oh. Moving on. Ah, I'm having problems again. I can't stop scratching now. Moving on, I mentioned to you before that your hair will grow back inst instantly after you cut it. The same apples to your limbs and skin. The same applies to your limbs and skin. Any injury should automatically correct itself to, um, I could cut off your, your arm right now and it would grow back in a matter of seconds. That is ingenious. Wow, but wouldn't it hurt? Want to find out? Never. I'd say yes. Ah, uh, what? What a shame. I would. I would find out. I'm sorry, but I would. It definitely would have 
definitely would have, even in this state, okay, I'm starting to shake my desk, shaking my foot, in this state, all of your organs are still active, including your nervous system. It's a good thing I, I evoked that, that one then. I avoided that one then. <laughs> this brings up an in interesting point. Even though your lungs and stomach still function, you no longer need to breathe or eat. Okay, I don't know about no longer needing to eat, and I really can't comprehend, being, can't comprehend not being able to breathe, so... You no longer need a pulse, either. Okay. But you... Will st you will still breathe, and your heart will still beat, since, th since these things are controlled and voluntary. The organ, re the organ responsible for releasing the hormonal, hor yeah, hormonal signs for, hum for hunger is also involuntary, but you'll probably get hungry more, more for f psychological reasons. Similar, similar, but won't need a won't need to sleep anymore either, since your body won't get tired, but you'll still become mentally exhausted, so you'll continue that as well. Lastly, you are so in have com, com, incompatible oh, of getting sick. No, incapable. You are also incapable of getting sick. Okay, that like I said, genius. However, if you had been sick when the magic was performed, you would have kept that cold, that cold forever, okay. And you never bothered even asking if I was sick. There was no need for that. Your life circuit told me pretty much everything about your health. In, in fact, it told me your entire medical history. That's interesting as well. Ingenious, I just have to say. So, you, like, read my mind or something. No, no, memories and thoughts are connected to the spirit circuit. You don't, you didn't need that one for, for the magic. Although, it really would have, wouldn't have been too hard to read your mind. Okay. A pretty, a pretty scary thought. Yeah, how long have I gone? 12 minutes. Every time I ask that, it's always about 12 minutes. Then I look a second time more in the 20s. Okay. Yeah, the possibilities are quite frightening, aren't they? You're reading my mind right now, aren't you? Ha <laughs> ha I thought I teased you a bit. But it's a lot of effort reading someone's mind. And besides, I'd rather not know what you're thinking of me. Good, because right now I'm thinking you're quite royal. Quite a royal. Oh, quite. Yeah, don't don't finish that thought. Okay, okay. Don't worry, I'm done too. Now that's now. What shall we do about breakfast? You know magic. Can't you just conjure something up for us to eat? Oh um, no, that's not how it works. I just totally me, and that j that totally defeats the point of having a servant. I guess I didn't have much choice. I can't guarantee the taste though. Does magic produced food not taste not taste that good? Um, does magically produced food not taste that good? Is that blush? Can't tell. No, it's just that the food I produce would would mirror my own cooking ability, and I'm not much of a chef. The face is one I haven't seen yet. This face is one I haven't seen yet. This never-before-seen look of hers, of the embarrassment on her face, it is blush. It's kind of cute. As cute as a 187-year-old <laughs> doe-mirroring -mir witch can't get. <laughs> oh my god. I had to go into detail about her age. Just one thing, just some advice for some of y'all. Never ask a woman their, their age. You never ask them their weight either. You just don't. It doesn't come out well. Especially if they're old, because then they definitely won't tell you their age. Unless they're just old, old, and which then they don't care anymore. 
Like my Aunt Betty. Yay. How does, how does that work? Why would magic food taste the same as your cooking? Well, things, things like ingredients, amount, heat, amount, heat, time, and, and like are left to the magician to decide. Aria, Aria just provided the means. Aria, the devil from the, from the pits who is heaven's immortal en enemy? The one who, who slumbers in the sea of lava beneath the ground? I knew it was coming. Ingrid Rodent, don't, don't dare speak those bl 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 I don't know that word again in my house. I, I will tear you apart into a thousand pieces and feed you to, to your rat brethren. That furious gaze sent sends a chill up and down my back. It feels like my spine is frozen. But I must have hit a very sensitive... <laughs> what time is this? 12.30, okay. To, um... I take it to heart not to try to piss her off, off this much again. I think I skipped one. Nope, okay. For some reason, who hates reform? For someone who hates reformists, you sure are quick to cite their lore. I I thought you weren't put too much faith in those lies they passed of they pass off as holy doc doctrine. Sorry, but those lies are all I know. I know nothing about magic or Arya. Or vampires who aren't vampires or anything. Okay, yeah. Could y'all hear that squeak like that s s scratching sound? If there's something wrong with my ass, I seriously do. It's, it's it's happened before, and it kind of worries me because I don't want to spend another thirty dollars to replace another pair after having these for so such a short time. You're right, I shouldn't have expected so much from someone who actually believed that I was a vampire. If you if you promise to forget all that they've taught you and and to never say and to never ever say such ignorant and improper words again, I will teach you the truths of this world. All of her anger has completely dis dis uh, Dissipated. It could not, it's not disappeared, it's dissipated. I almost said disappeared, it's not right, it's dissipated. Not, not a trend of it hides in those shining blue eyes. She looks quite happy looking at, at me. She seems eager, even anxious, and pleading for me to answer in her favor. She wants to share those secrets she kept bottled to herself for almost 200 years. There was never a chance to me turning that down. I promise, please teach me all about the truths of this world. Ah ha ha, that's the spirit. If you had said no, I would have taken off your head <laughs> in a heartbeat. Wouldn't it grow back though? Like. It, did she just say that it would grow back in a matter of seconds? If she was to cut off his arm? Wouldn't it for the head? And which part would it grow back on as well? The body or the head? That's not a good question. Why can't we have stories like this in my in my class? Because we have to like write questions like what I'm asking on note cards and we get omits on tests and all that. Why can't we have a story like this? I can ask questions so much simpler. And this is quite an interesting story. I can, I'm into this. No, it's not the vampire effect. It's, it's mainly just... I really don't know. It's just something about it. I actually usually hate vampire crap, so... Or stuff, sorry. Not all vampire stuff is bad. Obviously. <laughs> Where, where was I saying? That shining smile she beams at me does nothing to dull the sense... The sense of pure evil that imitates from behind it. There's... Ugh. There's no need to look at me like that. It would have grown back. See? Still, that doesn't sound like a very pleasant experience. 
now, now that you know I'm a magician, ugh, I, I don't know why I have trouble saying the word, a magician, I, I'm sure you want to learn more. I guess I should start with the source of this magician's power. Please, her eyes briefly shine with a bright gleam and eagerness to begin her lessons. Sorry, I'm like burping. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. About 20 minutes. I don't want to have anything. Let me just do that. Stop it there. <laughs> Technical difficulties coming up. But until then, that's my thousand cents. I like. I just mispronounced my name. The I can't even say it. This is Metal007 here saying leave a like, subscribe, comment. What do you think about this? Because I'm actually I'm actually good and I actually like this story surprisingly. It's one of the few stories I like. It's like the island. And I don't think I've I had island's not really something that's like this badly, so that can be like a read through of that. And I've actually been meaning to find a um, reading of it anyway. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm tired. But until then, it's gonna be the end of this session. And just what I'm saying. Signing out. Now, let me think this. <laughs>